Well, we know that it's kind of that time of the year, right, where we can get a little gloomy. There's not mm -hmm. a lot of sunlight. We're all cooped up indoors. But there are ways that you can boost your mood with my favorite thing, food. Yes. And we have Jill Holter from Lake Winds Foods in studio this morning with some ideas of what we can consume. Yes. Well, you just unwrapped the salmon. I why, did. Don't, I why don't we start there? Waiting for the end. Well, you've heard the good news that fat's our friend now, right? Yes. No longer the enemy. It used to be fat. No fat, no fat diet, and now butter is back, real food is Certain back. Certain kinds of fats. Eggs, good. Yep, there's good fats. Think of natural fats. The, the hydrogenated manufactured fats are always bad for you. But we need fat in our diet. It's actually good for your mood. It helps your brain function. It gives you energy. The um, protein and fat in eggs is really good for energy. It makes us nicer. And vitamins need a certain amount of fat they to kind of glob of onto the, yep. when they to be absorbed into the body. Yep, right? they're called fat soluble. So those yeah. you need fat to go with when you eat vegetables. Put a little butter on them. Have some eggs with your asparagus in the morning. Yeah. That's good to know because I know a lot of people like to do vitamin D in yes. the winter to <clears throat> help that, and that would help uh, uh, the vitamin D process. Yes, and so uh, fatty fish. So it's salmon. Fatty fish. Yep. Um, Any other tuna, kinds? Tuna. Um, trout, lake trout is really lake good trout. right now. Look okay. for the brightly colored fish. Okay, the good. fish that have deep colors. That's kind of the rule for everything, really. It's bright. Yeah. The yep. more color, the better. You've Absolutely. got some citrus here, which is also brightly yes, colored. It is. Um, citrus is peak season right now. There's not a lot of local produce happening. <laughs> but the, yeah. There is zero. What are you talking well, about? There's there hydroponics. Oh, I know. It's Come little on. amounts. So go for the citrus. The blood oranges are almost done for the year, but they're really delicious. They make a great juice. They make a great mimosa. That's these guys those right are here. There. Yep. And yeah. those are Meyer lemons, and they smell amazing. The um, um, second largest one is a Caracara navel orange. And it actually has a pink flesh and it looks like a grapefruit. So hit the citrus hard because the natural oils, again, are good for the moods and the vitamin C is great for your immune system. How many servings a day should you um, be I would probably hit a couple of servings a day okay. with a juice or in a salad or fresh in the morning. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and you can do it in a juice. You don't yeah. have to just like, no, you, you don't know, have to eat chop it. Yep. her up and go to town. Yep. All right, you can also put these um, leafy greens in juices too. You can, or you can steam them and you can eat them raw, but mm -hmm. antioxidants. So again, the dark colors, there's antioxidants and dark leafy greens. And yes, thank you in dark chocolate as well. Mm. And I don't know if you've heard about this you've neat got company my in, in Minneapolis. Cool is the name of the chocolate brand. They're in oh, the I Seward haven't. neighborhood. And they custom make, we sell the bars in the store, but they also custom blend chocolate to your specifications. So is it any kinds of chocolate and in dark all sorts of chocolate. amounts? Dark chocolate. <laughs> I just have. Yes. Good try. Mm -hmm. You can't go too far. Okay. Right? okay. What does she want to hear? <laughs> yes, uh, right. Dark chocolate an ounce or two a day. Okay. Yeah. I'll little try to limit myself. Yep. A square or two after dinner or for an afternoon Perfect. snack is a great thing. Mm -hmm. Great, great tip, Jill. I feel better already. Oh, good. I'm glad. Thank you so much. I know a lot of you have a goal in 2016 of exercising more. And one of the things that can help you with that is changing your diet. This mm -hmm. year, there are plenty of healthy food trends to follow. Joining us with what is hot this year is Jill Holter with Lake Winds Foods. I love this because, you know, clothing comes in style and yes. out of fashion. Mm -hmm. Foods do too. They do. Mm -hmm. We all remember kale. Oh, yes. yes. And kale. bacon. Bacon. Kale yes. is still in, isn't and it? And bacon will always be in. Bacon is always Absolutely. in. But there are always new kind of grains and beans that come in mm -hmm. and out. So let's start with that. Um, the word that we're using today for this is pulse, not pulse. like take your pulse, but um, legumes that we would normally call them or beans or peas are known as pulses. They're part of a family and that's a seed of a plant. And we know that they're super healthy, they're loaded with um, fiber, they are very inexpensive, and that's part of what they, the pulse family. So pulses are a food trend. So next time you're at a party and there's a bean dip, Jason, you're going to be really cool. <laughs> <if you laughs> trend. The, the hot trend dip. right now, though, is eating less meat. Yes. That Americans eat too much yes, we do. meat. But we still need the protein, mm -hmm. and we you do. can get that done with and these. When you combine, what are these three beans here? Um, this is a... Um, this is a split pea, okay. which is makes great soup. Great soup, yep. sure. These are red lentils, and lentils can be a side dish or a soup. And then, of course, black beans, black beans are, are universal. Very yep. good. And and they're also good for the environment. They too, are. This plant. Yep. They are low impact on the environment. They don't deplete the soil of nutrients. The plants are easy. They're grown all over the world, kind of for that reason. Okay. Right. Yep. And so I know a lot of people like to drink those energy drinks. Yes. Uh, I'm a coffee drinker. This is interesting because mm -hmm. this is sustainable energy that's yes. actually good for you. Yep, this is maca and maca comes from the high mountains of the Andes 
um, the Andes Mountains in Peru. What is it? What's maca? It is a, it's in the radish family. It looks like a little uh, white radish right. root, and it's ground up. Um, the warriors would consume high quantities of this before they went into battle. Huh. We don't need a lot. You can add it to your smoothie, and if you um, want it in chocolate, you can have a yes. chocolate bar. Yes, we yeah. do want it we in all, chocolate. We absolutely Why do. not? Uh, low ingredient foods yep. is another trend you're um, seeing. Read your label, and if you can count maybe on one hand how many ingredients are in a bar or um, something from packaged grocery. These are Whole Me bars. It's a local company. Yeah, we featured them on our uh, WCCO yeah. morning yeah. show. Yeah. And so you can read. It's dates, pecans, eggs, almonds, coconut oil, vanilla, baking soda, and You can and pronounce all those. You know you what all this stuff is. Yep. So, <laughs> Very and good. then um, let's not waste anything this year. Let's stop throwing stuff in the garbage. Huge research on how much food we throw away. We throw away so much food. And composting is a great solution, but this entire um, part of a uh, piece of celery here can be used. The celery can be eaten, the leaves can be chopped up and used like parsley, hmm. and save this for your stock pot. Add it to your oh, stock pot flavor. with your chicken bones and your okay. carrots and Very your good. onion skins, and that goes into the stock pot. Cool. Same with your herbs. What do you do when you do that? What do you do with those? With this? Mm -hmm. Trash. <laughs> That's right. Nope. Put those in a plastic bag with this and add that to your stock pot as well. Oh, you'll get that flavor. There's tons of flavor cool. in the stems. It's kind of a fun yep. challenge for yourself to see how it you is. can reuse. Very and good. save your orange peels and some vinegar, and it makes a great cleaning solution. Jill, so thank you, you very much. Lake Wins awesome Food Co-op, we appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Thank you. In.